Beautiful. All right, guys, this is our third call for our Getting My Business Started um, group, which so far uh, we've gone over things like uh, what kind of time you need to make this work for you, um, what the seventh day quick start is, um, how to make good recommendations, and what kind of questions to ask. And today we're going to talk about your personal development, what you're doing, um, how to make good advertisements for groups and for coaches, and we're going to talk a little bit about your gems. And um, okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and start and ask you, Melissa, what personal development are you doing right now? Um, I'm doing I'm doing uh, GoPro right now, and then I'm going to go into the Compound Effect because I have that one on my phone. Okay, you've been working on GoPro for about two months, so I, I just want to encourage you to wrap that one up, and because at this point, I think if you're if you're not finishing it, then you're not getting much out of it. So you okay. need to move on to something okay. else you'll connect with, because you might not be connecting with it. That's the kind of thing about personal development. If you don't connect with it, you don't get a lot out of it. Um, so you might need to move on to something else soon, and then come back to it later maybe when it's more in line of where you are in your business. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So, um, give it this week and if you get it finished or, you know, you make some good progress in it or you really start connecting with it, then cool. But usually a book doesn't take over two months to like really get through. GoPro is actually a pretty easy read. So if you can't connect with it, I just want you to try to move on to something that you do connect with. Okay. Melissa, you might want to think about go for now as one to do soon. Yeah, definitely. I think that's a, that would be a good one for you, especially being kind of scared to ask the questions. So, um, good call. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'll look, I'll look into the, I'll look into the go for now. Well, go for now is really short too. Yeah. It's yeah. a simple book. It's a short book. So, um, you can check your library. Um, if you don't want to buy it, you can check your local library, and um, if they don't have it, usually they'll get it from another library or something. They'll trade it or switch it or whatever they do. So um, you can always look into that, too. I encourage people, especially when they're first starting their personal development, to try getting it from their library if they can so they don't have to uh, invest money when they're not sure what they really connect with yet. So, um, Okay. Lori, what are you doing for personal development, just out of curiosity? Uh, I am reading Eat That Frog on audiobook, which is terrible. It is the most boring book on audiobook. He puts me asleep. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, so I, I've also been reading um, Jab, Jab, Right Hook um, before bed. That one's pretty good. Do you like it? I do. There's a lot of information. Um, it's definitely... Of all the books we read for personal development that's recommend, recommended, I feel like that one's like totally the most applicable to like our everyday, day-to-day -day thing. Mm -hmm. I can see that, for sure. Uh, right now, I um, just for disclosure, I guess, I am re-listening to Total Money Makeover right now because we just sold our house and we're getting all our stuff in order, so it's good for me again to refresh <laughs> finances. Um, when you're doing your personal development, that's actually a good point to bring up. It doesn't have to necessarily be something you think is 100% um, about the business. It can also be something that's going to help you in life because develop as a person. So you can do something like you make over that helps you with your finances or something that will help you with your, um, your confidence or something like that. So. You keep that in mind too, Melissa, when you're looking at books um, in general. Uh, also, if you want to ask the team, like, hey, has anybody read this? Because somebody's probably read it. There's a lot of really big personal development warriors on the team, especially Team Next Fire. So um, if you want opinions on a book that you're thinking about, that's a good place. But, okay. So first we're going to talk real quick about your gems. Um, Melissa, you said you're an emerald and a emerald first and then pearl second? I believe so, yes. Okay. I, should, I have it in, is it, I think one of my other notebooks that I have. 
I'm actually going to show my screen so this pops up, but this is my... Um, uh, yeah, it's emerald first and then it's pearl. Okay. So this is the, the gem summary, like what the gems are all about. So basically what you, when you get those two things that mean that you like to be really organized and you like knowing all the facts and figures and having all of the information about something and, um, and you spend a lot of time researching sometimes before you'll actually delve into asking and, and going that extra mile with the communicating with people. So it kind of makes sense for me because you're a, a little bit shy still with people in the, in the act of talking to them. So um, that kind of makes sense to me. And the emerald, uh, I'm sorry, the pearl is a person who is really um, into helping people. Um, they, they like people, they like being around them. They, they love people in general, but they're, they're not motivated by things like money and prizes and stuff. They're motivated by actually seeing themselves help people. So I guess that also kind of makes sense because you haven't been really that motivated by making sales and stuff. You're more motivated by being in the groups. Like you, you kind of shine when you're in a group because you post your workouts, you talk to people, you're interactive. So that kind of makes sense. Um, the reason this is important to know what these gems mean is because if you have a coach later and you have them take the gem test, you can kind of understand where they're coming from. For me, I'm a, I'm a ruby emerald, so I'm driven by money and I like to be super organized and know everything. Those are kind of my traits. And so what that kind of means is that if I... Is she still here? Uh, her screen just went black. We'll see you there. There oh. she is. There you are. <laughs> so what that means for me is that if I, um, for some reason, have a coach who's another gem than me, and I don't. Yeah, I'm here. My internet's going slow. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, if you miss any of this, then it's recorded, so you can um, go back and check out the parts that you missed. But um, basically. What I'm trying to say is the good thing about having this gem test is it helps you understand the people that you're working with, whether it's a customer, if you, I mean, I don't usually have customers take the gem test, but you could, um, or a, or a coach, especially your coaches, because then you can help understand, it can help you understand where they're coming from, what they're feeling, what their kind of um, motivation factor is. So that's kind of why. The gems are important. Um, I'm a sapphire emerald, by the way. Yeah, so Lori's all about the fun. She's a sapphire. She likes to party. Um, and she likes to make everything into a fun new experience, which makes sense for her because she likes creating new groups and doing new things with her people. And, um, and she's an emerald, so like us, she likes to be organized. She just bought her first planner. She's super excited. So... <laughs> So that all makes sense. Okay. The last thing we're going to talk about today is making advertisements. So let's talk about advertisements for your groups and for coaches. Because you do these two things totally different. Um, when you're making an advertisement for a group, you, the first thing you want to leave with is excitement. Um, hey, I'm super excited. I have this new group coming up. And then you want to put in your personal experience and some little factoids about what's going to happen in the group. So make it understandable, make it positive, and make it excited. Like, you can't wait to be part of it, so all the people want to be part of it too. Um, and one thing I really do like to do, and this may annoy some people, I'm not sure. Um, I like to tag people in the post, especially like you guys. I like to tag um, my coaches in the post about a group because usually you don't have one to go into. So that not only has your friends see it, so they're like, they can ask you about it, like, hey, Larry, what's that new group? Or, hey, Melissa, what's that group? Um, 
But then more people comment on it, and the more comments it gets, the more excitement it generates just on its own. Um, and when you are going to bring someone into the group, all my posts are public, so you can tag somebody on it and be like, hey, um, if, if I'm Melissa and I'm like, hey, Lori, so you want to be part of this cool group that we're doing? And then um, that person will see that it already has like 15 other comments and they might be like interested or intrigued and then it can start a conversation. So, um, of course, you can post your own ads. You don't have to depend on mine, especially because I'm fully and sometimes forget to post until the Friday before the group. That was my first. But you just want to make sure you're honest, you're positive, and you are um, really excited because uh, people want to know what it's going to be about. So you can always tell them three basic things. We're going to work out, we're going to try to eat good, and we are going to support each other. Those are the three things about these groups. Support is like the biggest thing. I usually call them support groups in my posts. I don't usually say challenge group, but I uh, usually say health and fitness support group. So, um, okay, when you're advertising for a coach, on the other hand, um, this is when you are going to um, want to kind of talk about your personal experience. When you're a brand new coach, you have kind of limited personal experience. So it makes sense that you're not going to always have, you know, like a six-figure story like Amber or somebody else to tell, you know, like, hey, want to make six figures in a year? Come be a coach. I mean, that's a great tagline, and people love hearing that they can make six figures. But it's not your honest story. It's not your story about, um, it's kind of, I mean, it's Amber's, and you know Amber, so I guess you can say it's a friend of yours story. Um, but the truth is, you want to tell them why you're a coach, because most of the time you're going to attract somebody similar to you. So bring up all the key things that makes coaching great for you. If, if the discount is something that's a big factor for you, bring up the discount. If the um, helping people is a big thing, I hope so, because that's kind of what we're all here for, <laughs> um, then of course, like bring that up. Um, bring up the events and that like, if you've been to Super Saturday, of course talk about Super Saturday. Or if you've been to Summit, um, it's a great thing to, after you go to Summit, that's a perfect time to advertise for coaches because it's like the biggest coach event of the year. So um, use your personal experience. That's the main thing. Um, and always be honest. When people are like, how much money do you make? I don't really answer that question. <laughs> I really don't. It's not, I'm not being dishonest. I'm just like, well, it varies. It depends on how many you know, I'm doing that month or whatever. I, I never told them exact numbers because exact numbers aren't a reflection of the business. We can't guarantee anybody any exact number. So I don't give them an exact number. If they ask, if they tell me they want to replace their full-time income, I tell them that it's doable. And if they work really hard, they might be able to do it in about a year. But I don't ever tell them you're going to do that in three months. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> it might be possible, but it's not really feasible. Um, if they say they want to have $500 uh, of pocket money to help out with their bills and stuff every month, that I tell them can take them about six months if they work really hard. You know, it's all about the person and how much effort they are willing to put in. But I never guarantee any amount of money because it's just not realistic. So, um, yeah. So when you're creating an ad for a coach, definitely lead with honesty, positives about your experiences, like what you, what has made you better about being a coach, or because you're a coach, or um, why you love it, or what's important about it to you, because. People want to know the truth. So, um, but really that's about it. Uh, I thought I'd run over kind of a couple ways that I would advertise for a group. Um, you know, I advertise in different ways. 
if you look at my Facebook profile, you can always see um, specifically the post I just put up about the group starting Monday. Um, at this point, we the group is always about 20 people, even with new people and old people, it always is. So um, that's pretty standard. If I'm running a different kind of group, um, or if by chance this is the first group that you want to run of a certain kind, like Lori's always coming up with new kinds of groups. She's really creative with her groups. Um, it's cool to say, hey, I am running a new kind of group, and this is what's going to happen in it, and I'm really excited to see how this goes, and if there's a surprise, make sure you say that, or whatever it is. Um, but you want to say all the exciting new kinds of things about it. Or um, like for Kelly, who she's not on the call with us right now, but she is, she wanted to do a clean eating group because she's really into that. Um, so we made her a group advertisement that basically said, um, hey everybody, I'm super excited because I'm about to run my very first group as a coach with the help of my coach. Um, and it's going to be all about clean eating. And my, I personally wanted to do this kind of group because when, um, and then she told us a little, little bit about her personal story with it. Because uh, the first time she did a clean eating group, I think she lost 10 pounds or something in a month. Actually, it was 21 days. I think it was something like that. And uh, she had a really great experience. So that kind of experience can be translated into your post. So when you're talking about challenge groups, you can be like, this is kind of how I've lost my weight. And this is how I stay on track with my fitness and health by saying, this is, this is my experience. And then people like to know the real life aspect of it, like what's really going to happen in it. Um, so that's kind of how I come up with my group posts. Usually it's like two minutes, I just type it out. I don't even know how it happens, but it's mainly with those three things, positive energy, honesty, and my past experiences. So, um, that feels a little jumbled. I'm not really sure if I came across right, but, um, but do you have any questions about that, Melissa? Mm, no. Okay. Have you made any posts recently about groups? Not recently, although I need to. Yeah, I need to get. I just need to get back into the, back into the groove of everything. Have my because I'll start with the focus, but then something tears it. But then somehow it get I get veered off track. So I just need to be able to just keep focus. Once I can do. Once I can actually be able to keep the focus and actually keep everything going, then I should be okay. Well, what I would love to see you do today is um, when we get off this call, do a Facebook post about my group that's starting tomorrow. Be like, hey guys, I know it's last minute, but my coach is throwing together a 30-day group that's all about health and fitness, and I'm allowed to bring in five people. I don't know, pick a number. You can pick a number. Uh, I'm allowed to bring five people with me. Um, the reason I say pick a number is because people like to be one of an exclusive number of people. Like they like to think that their spot is special. <laughs> so um, since the group starts tomorrow and it's a last minute thing and you only have five spots, you may gain some momentum with that. Um, as you know, this group is free. There's no requirements for anything. There's no requirements for a specific kind of workout. They can do whatever they want. Um, so this is a really great stepping stone type of group for you. Because they get in a group okay. of people who are doing beach body programs, who are drinking Shakeology, and they they will want to ask questions. They'll want to know what everybody's doing. So, okay. Um. Other than that, I think we're the, that's really the topics I wanted to cover today. Um. I should have made a little better notes. I think about creating those advertisements. If that's a little fuzzy to you and you're a little bit um, confused or whatever, just talk to me about it. You know, I'm always there. Um, I can, if you're going to put up an ad and you want to send it to me first, 
totally willing to read it and give you my thoughts um, or help you, you know, give you some suggestions. So, um, but yeah, I think that's it, girls. Uh, Lori, did you have it? You want to add anything about advertising for stuff? Um, just make sure it's something that you connect with. You know, if you can use an image, uh, a cool image, um, whether it's a picture you take or something you find, you know, definitely having an image will, um, you know, grab people. Uh, Jamie grabbed me uh, with this, like, sad cat picture. Yes, That's why I signed up to be a coach. She made a post about coaching with a sad cat that said, please help or something. Yes, I, I did make a sad little picture, actually. Um, I was, like, desperate to reach a goal, and I was, like, um, I forget what it was, but I was, like, please, and I put this little piece. Yes. And, um, and Lori was, like, well, I was thinking about it. And, guys, like, seriously, Lori is somebody that I met. She's, like, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm like, dying to lose me, and I'm, you know, just interested in being part of your group so I get kind of some motivation to do it other than just motivating myself. She was trying out for Biggest Loser. Like she had all this stuff going on and she was like ready to commit to working out. But she's like, well, I don't know about this coaching thing. Um, you need to step back with that. And then, thanks babe. Um, then a few months later, I put the little sad kitty and she's like, well, you know, I could use a discount. Like a discount sounds good, whatever. She got put on like the worst leg ever, and it's jelly my fault. But no, she has eight coaches, she's about to be a diamond. So you never know what people are gonna do. Like really don't. ask everybody because you never know who's gonna shine. So when I signed up as a coach, truthfully, I was like, um, I signed Matt up. You guys know that I coach with Matt in his account. Um Hi, Matt. Yeah, he's in the other room. Uh, <laughs> I will tell him you said happy. Uh, but yeah, I, just, I just randomly signed up with him. Uh, we'll sign him up so we can get the discount. And then six months later, what happens? I'm like super coach. And I became Emerald in three days. And all kinds of crazy things happened. So you never know. Ever. So don't give up on anybody. Ask everybody. And... Melissa, I think you need a little confidence boost, so start practicing on the people that you're comfortable with talking to. And then, so, okay. All right, well, I think that's enough. So this call's a little longer than I expected, but that's cool. Um, do you have any questions or anything, Melissa, you want to ask? Uh, not really. I think I'm just going to... I may end up having to watch this once you publish it because uh, my computer kept going in and out, so I'll probably end up rewatching this and and but I will put, but I am going to post about the group that is starting tomorrow. Okay. And I have I have an idea of, I already have an idea of what I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna type it out right quick and post it and See what responses I get. Okay. If you want to send it to me first, feel free, and I'll, I'll tell you what I think if you want that. Um, if you don't need it, that's totally fine. Just offering. Um, but, okay. I know that you can totally do this, dude. Um, you've been around a long time. You're pretty consistent with your working out and all that stuff, so I know you can make this work. So I'm excited to see if that starts happening for you. So, um Thumbs up. Okay, I'm going to stop this recording and um, I'll talk to you guys later.